All right, welcome to a new episode about Python and Folium. Um, so today we'll use Python and Folium to build a Google Trends-like map with, I think, ten, line, ten lines of code only. So um, let's go to trends.google.com and let's search for something, for example, Donald Trump. And this time, perhaps, let's not search for uh, search results in, in the US. Let's search in Germany and how Germans uh, Google about Donald Trump within the last 12 months. And you see Google generates a map for you where you can see um, the regions with high search results and some other regions with lower search results here or lower search requests about Donald Trump. And let's build exactly this kind of map with Python Folium today. So we could also kind of build those bar charts or those kind of charts with, for example, Python map plot lib. But today we'll focus on this map. And for this, Google allows us to simply download the data here. Let's do it. And let's just copy the file into our project folder. Let's perhaps create a data folder around here. All right, one more preparation step required before we can start. So actually we need some kind of uh, geojson data for the uh, German states here. And for this, um, whoever, whoever this guy is here, uh, it's my, a VIP for today because basically he prepared some GeoJSON data for Germany. Um, here you just have to move to Bundesländer, so this means states in Germany, so you will also learn some German today. And within you have a file here with a very detailed GeoJSON data about the German states, like you can see here. And if you click on download, it takes a while and you get a lot of latitude, longitude data here and just simply copy everything and go to your project folder, perhaps create a new file here. Uh, let me name it German states.json and paste it here and simply save it. All right, this is uh, required for preparation and now we can start coding. Uh, but before actually, can show you there is something similar available also for US states, for example, um, uh, within the Folium documentation. I think here you can see some data for US counties, uh, some for the US states. Perhaps also when you Google a little bit, you find something for your country um, to play around with. But as mentioned, let's today use the German um, data here. All right, basically we can start coding now. So let's go to our project folder. Uh, let's create a new file, app.py. And um, let's start with the import statement. So as mentioned, of course, we need Folium. We need um, OS. Oh, what happened here? We need OS to read in those files here. And lastly, we need pandas to do something with our data. So import pandas as pd. Uh, next, let's read in our files here. So uh, German states equals os.pass.join data, the folder where the file is in, and German states.json. All right, next let's read in the search results here. So the geo map, um, Donald Trump search results equals OS pass join again in the data folder. And the file name is geomap.csv. And now let's use pandas to um, read in this file into pandas uh, because then we can play around with it a little bit uh, easier. So let's just name it search results equals uh, pd.readcsv 
and then the Donald Trump search res. And now let's simply print it out to see what it gives us. Uh, for this, I need to move to the project folder. And start app.py. Taking a while. Come on. My PC kind of slow today. Ah, and here you see on the left you got a column region where you get all the states of Germany. Um, and on the right you see the number of search requests for the term Donald Trump with Hamburg at the top and Mecklenburg for Pommern at the bottom. All right, uh, let's perhaps have a look at this and throw a little bit stuff away here so we don't need this. And let's just keep it like this. And let's read in the file again. Uh, and you see this gives a much better overview if we throw, throw out those headlines here. And now we got a region and Donald Trump and that's it. All right. Uh, let's remove this because now we can already build our map with folium. So um, for this we create a new variable map and we use folium map uh, with a location here um, and giving longitude and latitude values from Germany. Uh, so this, uh, this one and we start with a zoom start of 5.4, so this um, specifies how far we are or how close we zoom in. And last statement is we need to specify a tile, so this means uh, the style of the map, and here we make use of the OpenStreetMap. Um, basically, this already creates a map, and we can display it or save it as index or as index.html. Let's do this. Let's run our script one more time. And you see a new file got generated here, index.html, with a lot of stuff generated from Folium. Let's have a look at this in the browser. So let me open this with Chrome. And you see, building up slowly, you get a map of Middle Europe here with Germany in the middle. All right, first step achieved. Now we need to basically build the coral plat. So this color scheme basically with having a dark blue for the um, best search results and the lighter blue for the least search results is, is called the folium coral plat. And uh, we will create one now. So uh, we use folium dot coral plat like this. And this one now requires a lot of statements. So let me break up this line here a little bit. So first statement is geodata. So actually where does um, Folium now get the geodata from? And this is basically here, our variables German state and our geojson data. So let's read it in. Next, we need to give it a name. Let's call it Donald Trump search results comma and next we need to specify the data we need to read in so uh, the German states is our geodata and the data we want to use is basically stored in our variable search res so search res next we need to uh, from our data um, specify the columns and you know we have two columns here region and Donald Trump. Let's just copy it over. So columns it is. And then we can just specify it here, but we need to put it like this. And again, a comma afterwards. All right, next key on. And this is now very important. So we need to specify a key which is basically mapping the geodata to the data. And um, here you have a region and Donald Trump, and you see here in the region you have all those names of the German states, like Hamburg, Schleswig-Holstein, and so on. Uh, now in the, 
in the state data, uh, here you have a lot. Let me scroll up to the top. Oh, come on. Nearly. Now, so here you get a lot uh, within the features array, you get a lot of, um, and here within the properties, you get a lot of data. And you see here like an ID, an ISO code, a name, again an ID, and here you have a name one. And basically this name one here, for example, let me search for Hamburg. This name one, Hamburg, here fits to our data and our region here, so Hamburg. So that's why we need to, as a key, specify this name one here. And this name one, as, as shown, is part of the feature array and here then in the properties and then the name one like this. Um, next we can basically style our choropleth a little bit so we can give it a fill color and now I'm specifying a strange term here pubu. So basically um, Folium gives you several options here on how you can set up this choropleth and pubu is one which comes this um, Google standard stuff the closest. So it, it will not match exactly, but it comes quite close to what we see here. So let's specify it as Pubu. Um, then we can define a fill opacity. So how strong it should fill it. Like uh, let's specify one here. And also how, uh, also the same for the lines. And uh, another statement, NAN fill color. So if a state would have no search results at all or zero, uh, then it would um, color it in, in this color we're specifying here. Um, let's just keep it like this. And the last statement basically is a line color. And um, as Google is using white here, so white lines between the states, let's also use white here. Um, and basically that's it. So this is the Coroplast specification and now we need to add it to our map. So add to map. And basically that's all. And like you can see, basically this is one line. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines of code. And that's already a Google Trends like map with Folium. So really powerful here. But actually, before we can run it, we have to do one more thing, which is a little bit annoying, but it needs to be done. So as you can see here, we have our regions, Hamburg, Schleswig-Holstein, Saarland, Bremen, and that's fine. But also we have some some um, German states here in English, like this North Rhine-Westphalia. But of course, it needs to map to the name one in the state data. And here you will not find North Rhine-Westphalia. So here you will find Nordrhein, uh, let me wait for it, Nordrhein-Westfalen. So as mentioned, you will learn some German here. And basically, let's replace it here in our search result data with the correct German terms here. Uh, next, Rhineland Palatine is Rhineland Pfalz. Let me search for it here again. And uh, Folium also can't deal with those special German characters like uh, within Baden-Württemberg and you have to really replace it with an UE here. Uh, let's do the same here, Baden. And now I will speed the video a little bit up and do the rest here without commenting it. All right. All right, I think I'm through. Let me give it a last check. This really looks good. This looks good. So let's run our script one more time. 
app.py. Oh, and we have an error here. Oh, however, this came in here, German states it is. One more time. And it updated the index.html. Let's refresh it. And you see, here's our Coroplast, right? And if you now compare it to, to the one of, of Google, of course, it doesn't match 100%, but you get a basic map here of Germany with different colors based on the search result for, for, for Don, Donald Trump, and it quite looks the same. So um, at this point, perhaps a small homework for you. you to, so here you see some markers when you hover about the states with, with the actual search results. Perhaps try to achieve this with, with Folium in the same way. We didn't do it here. And if you have some trouble or really need to know how it's done, just drop a comment and I'll let you know. Thank you very much for watching and see you.